you can create records for the contacts you deal with regularly. This saves you time when entering your sales and purchases and helps you keep track of who owes you money and who you owe money to. You'll find all your contact records on the contacts page. In this example, we'll set up a customer by selecting new customer. The steps are the same for setting up a supplier, except that you'd select new supplier, or in some countries, new vendor. Any mandatory fields, such as the business name, are marked with an asterisk. If your customer is not a business, just enter the customer's name. Then, optionally, enter additional contact information and a reference if you have one. An email address is useful here, as it means you will be able to email invoices to the customer directly from accounting. The rest of the data is for your records, so you can enter as much or as little detail as you'd like. In the Account Details tab, you can enter the customer's address. The ledger account that should be used when you create transactions for the customer is set based on your default account settings, but this can be changed here for individual customers. The tax information you can add differs depending on the country in which you operate and the country in which the customer resides. If you will be making deliveries to the customer, in the Delivery Address tab, choose if the customer's main address is also their delivery address. If not, clear the checkbox and add a separate delivery address. In the Payment Details tab, you can set a credit limit for the customer by selecting the Set Credit Limit checkbox and adding an amount. The credit terms you see here are those defined in your default settings. If you need to change these for the customer, select the Set Credit Terms checkbox and update the value. This information appears in the Aged Debtors and Aged Creditors report. You can also enter the customer's banking details if you need them, for example, to refund a deposit. If you've enabled foreign currency in your settings, in the Defaults tab, select the currency you want to use for the customer. You cannot have multiple currencies against a single customer record. So, if you need to use multiple currencies for a customer, Set up multiple records for them, with one currency per record. The Defaults tab is also where you choose the price category to be used for the customer's purchases. And, in some countries, the customer's preferred language. When you're happy with the information, select Save. The record is immediately available to be used when entering transactions. For further information and in-depth courses, visit Sage University at sageu.com. If you have any questions or need guidance, visit the Sage Support Resource Centre at sage.com forward slash resources, where you can ask the community, search the knowledge base, or get in touch with us by chat.